Hey, it's Andy with the Mandel team at Remax, and I'm here to give you your March 2020 housing market update. So for the purposes of this video, we're talking about single family homes in Boca, Parkland, and Coral Springs. Those are predominantly the areas where our team does all of our business. Uh, when we're talking about Boca, we are not talking about 55 and over communities, and we're not talking about the equity country clubs that are there. Those are completely different markets. We're going to exclude that. So we're talking about all ages communities, no country clubs. So the first stat that we want to bring you is the number of new homes hitting the market. On average, that's down a little over 12% year over year. So fewer homes hitting the market. At the same time, we're seeing a increase in the number of homes going pending and coming off the market. Uh, that's about 27% almost. So 12% fewer homes hitting the market, 27% more homes coming off the market. That's leading to a supply and demand imbalance, and it's driving down the days on market. So days on market is down a little over 5.5% year over year. So homes are selling a lot quicker. So the last stat we look at is the number of months of inventory on the market. So what this stat means is that if no more homes hit the market at the current pace of sales, how long would it take for all of the homes that are currently on the market to sell? A seller's market is anything less than six months. A buyer's market is anything more than six months. And right now, we're at about three and a half months worth of inventory. Uh, it's on average between Parkland, Coral Springs, and Boca. In Coral Springs specifically, we're at 1.95 months worth of inventory. So it is ridiculously low inventory for single family homes in Coral Springs. This is excellent news for sellers. So for sellers, when inventory is low, your home is in high demand. I'm seeing tons of multiple offer situations. Homes are selling really, really quickly. There's tons of buyers out there. So it's a great time to be a seller. The best position for you as a seller is if you're selling that median price point home and you're moving up to a more luxury home, that luxury market tends to have a little bit more inventory. It's more, slightly more of a buyer's market. So that's a great position for you to be in. You can move up, get more house for your money, still take advantage of these really low interest rates and get your dream home. For a buyer, what does this mean for you? Well, interest rates are at historic lows. Affordability has literally never been higher. It is a great time to be a buyer. You still have to do your due diligence up front, get pre-approved, put yourself in the best situation to write a very, very strong offer, but you've literally never been able to afford more for your money than right now with interest rates where there are. I'm seeing people get quoted interest rates with a two in front of it. It's just absurd. It's literally unheard of. It is a great time to be a buyer. This is an excellent market. If you buy now, if these trends continue, you're taking advantage of the early market. As prices go up month by month by month, you'll have a ton of built-in equity compared to someone who waited until September, October, November to buy. So now is an excellent time to get in that market. Thanks for tuning in to our market update for March 2020. If you have any questions on how this affects you, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. I'd love to answer your questions. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next month.